hopes, dreams, the God of infinite possibilities is here with us. This is Sister Jean Maria of the Daughters of St. Paul. Let us now receive the outpouring power of the Gospel. Jesus said, Truly I tell you, no prophet is acceptable in the prophet's hometown. But the truth is, there were many widows in Israel in the time of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up for three years and six months, and there was a severe famine over all the land. Yet Elijah was sent to none of them except to a widow at Sarephath in Sidon. There were also many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. When they heard this, all in the synagogue were filled with rage. They got up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built, so that they might hurl him off the cliff. But he passed through the midst of them and went on his way. The prophets of Israel have been sent to be the mouthpiece of the God of infinite possibilities, to invite the people to trust and thus bring about the fulfillment of their hopes and of God's dream for them. But Israel remained deaf to the prophets, who then turned to the neighboring nations and let other people experience the wonders of the God of infinite possibilities. Jesus came not only as another prophet, but as the incarnation of the God of infinite possibilities. But like the prophets, he received a rough treatment in his own hometown, and later in Jerusalem, the city of his destiny. But the God of infinite possibilities cannot be stopped. Even now, He offers to fulfill our hopes and wait for us to allow Him to exercise in our lives His infinite possibilities. Lord, enable us to put our complete trust in you so that our lives may become the place of fulfillment of your infinite possibilities. Amen. Amen. 